My name's Chaz Bruns, and I travel the world in search of the cheapest food, hostels, transportation, and tours so you don't have to. Which means you're going to get to find out some of the best places in the world to eat, some of the best people in the world to meet, Howdy, partner. and where to go to have a damn good time. And the best part is, I'm going to show you how to do it all dirt cheap. This is part four of a four-part series of Dirt Cheap Thailand. In the last episode, I went to a wedding in Phuket, and now I'm headed to PP Islands. And from there, we're going to Koh Lanta. The track you're listening to is Can't Do That To Me by my friend Cody Vanettestein. He's currently chilling on top of the boat with his parents. We were all just at his brother's wedding in Phuket, but now we're grabbing a ferry over to PP Island. We got our tickets online for $9.23 a person. It takes about two hours, but then you come to this. And you should know there's a quiet side and a party side. But don't worry, they're less than a mile apart. The ferry lands in the port on the party side, but we're taking a wooden boat to our hotel on the quiet side. It costs three bucks per person. My brother Andy and I are staying right on the beach at the Viking Nature Resort. We got a private beach bungalow for 15 bucks a person. And Andy said he'd sleep outside in the hammock. What a gentleman. Hopefully the iguanas don't eat him in his sleep, but I think he'll be okay. What you find there? Hello, iguana. All joking aside, it was a pretty sweet location. And in case you were wondering, yes, there's air conditioning. It's 100 degrees out there, but we got beer in the mini fridge. Each beer will cost you a buck 84. <laughs> we're eating lunch at the Viking Hotel restaurant. We split morning glory and mango sticky rice. We spent 350 each. And if you feel like an after-dinner massage on the beach, the Viking Nature Resort has you covered. Twelve bucks for an hour. And relax we did, all the way until sunset. And then we went right back to the restaurant because they had free food for happy hour. Free coconut chicken soup. It's actually pretty good and it's free, which is even better. So we're out here at night in the jungle. It's about a 20 minute walk into town. Andy and I are gonna do the jungle hike, see what we can see in uh, Kopi P. Let's do it. I made it sound way scarier than it is. It's not that bad. But if you wanna leave the quiet side to check out the party scene, it's really your only option. There's no cars on PP Island. Eventually, you come to this. How are you? Sawadika. Yeah. <laughs> barbecue, barbecue, barbecue. <laughs> they cook a fresh here. <laughs> so there's tons of shopping, tons of food, tons of places to drink, tons of stuff to look at. Only one good looking guy though, right here. Yeah, that's true. That's just, yeah. <laughs> Grabbed a beer at 7 Eleven for a buck fifty. Drink on the street here because you can buy cheap beer at a bodega and bring it with you to the strip. Can't be that. So, this is Chum. She said my hair was poof. So, she sold me this beautiful bandana and she gave me a great deal 70 bucks. Thank you. High five. <laughs> Time for some white tie fights, baby. And it's free if you buy a drink. Hey guys, buy one get one free bucket. Stir cheap here. You choose anything you like. Mix and match right now. Buy one get one free. Comes out to nine twenty six a person. Yeah. 
fucking crazy. My money's on him. The best part about this place is that the tourists can fight too. But I had had just a little too much to drink. I wasn't looking for a concussion. And the other tourists, well, let's just say they were in a little better shape than I was. No thanks. After the Muay Thai fights, we were pretty tired. But I wanted to show you guys at least one party spot. We found it. This side of the island is definitely a drunken mess of backpackers and college kids. But I'm not knocking it. Some people love it. And I thought this fire show was pretty cool. And although it looked like fun, there was no chance I was going to do the limbo. But I might have changed my mind after I got a free shot. As they say, when in Rome. After all, you only live once, right? Might as well dance in the ocean. My hair is getting out of control. But I'm not gonna cut it. <laughs> so normally I don't show chains, but Burger King is cheap and delicious. And they've got Thai-style chicken with rice for $2.74. And they've also got a black bean and salted egg custard pie. It looked good, and it was good. Today we're taking a boat over to Koh Lanta. We missed the ferry, so we had to pay a little more for a speedboat. You can book one right in the main port. And honestly, it's kind of worth it. You get there in half the time. The track you're listening to is another song from my friend Cody Vanettestein. Check him out on SoundCloud. When we got to the island, we paid five bucks each for a taxi to our Airbnb. Our villa was 75 bucks a night, but we were traveling with friends, so it came out to 15 bucks a person. If you're traveling alone, I suggest checking out the hostels down on the beach. They also run about 10 to 15 bucks a person. It comes with three bedrooms, each with a king size bed. And one of my favorite things about it was the outdoor shower. It also came with a roof deck. And the cherry on top, the private pool. We rented our scooters at Go With Us Thai Travel. Cost $7.77 a person. They require that you bring a back fill with gas. Let me show you how. So sometimes gas stations are few and far between to find, but luckily you can just stop on the side of the road and they've got gas in uh, glass bottles, plastic bottles sometimes. Pop the seat, pour it in. And if you're not a professional pourer like myself, feel free to use the funnel. All right, 250 bucks for these bad boys doing it.
Paula? Oh yeah. So cool. Oh my god, this is I literally think we should just stay. I don't know. This is a mojito. It's like $5. Excellent. Excellent. Yes. Who's already here? They had those two. <laughs> the mixed drinks average between three and six bucks. My time. That's how I would We shared everything family style. Oh, thank you. How about that? What are these? This is fried fish. Ooh, yeah. Oh, like that. Yeah. The food cost us roughly four dollars a person. bungalow in, in Koh Lanta and it is the coolest resort I've ever been to, the most beautiful sunsets, the best massages in Thailand, yeah. and our favorite food and music so far. It's insane. I think that this has to be the most beautiful sunset that we've seen so far. Yeah. It's pretty special. So beautiful. Don't miss it. Koh Lanta. <laughs> BB bungalow. Come see me and BB. Yay! I don't know what it was about the BB bungalows, the sunset, the treehouse, maybe all of it, but it really was one of the highlights of the trip. Time for sunset massages. This massage I'm about to get is only 300 bucks. See, I've never had this stuff before. Jazz golf? Yeah. The most stretch I've ever done. <laughs> what did I mean? said? The most stretching I've ever had in my whole life. She's in my arms in ways that I think I've been in bad posture for most of my life until she met, I met her. <laughs> get her. Get her. She's the, she's the one. She's the one. Look at, look at. Yeah. I'm sorry. Rock star, man. After our massages, we headed into town to check out the walking street. The first time I had potato on a stick was in Bangkok. I fell in love. So now I have to get it every time I come to Thailand. It's battered and fried, so I can't really say it's good for you, but it sure as hell tastes good. It's so good. Is it barbecue? Yeah. It's like hard. <laughs> Thailand treats! <laughs> <laughs> 
40 baht. <laughs> After the walking street, we went back to the beach to check out the nightlife. We were told you could get mushroom shakes. However, they're illegal in Thailand, so I didn't get one. But it was still cool to hang out in all the crazy neon sitting on the beach by candlelight. If you were to get one, it would cost you 12 bucks, and make sure to split it between at least 5 people. At 240 a person, saves you some money, and we're told they're quite strong. Like I said, I didn't try one. I swear this is a virgin pina colada. About to watch some fires, Benny! I would say if you're into the reggae, rasta, beach vibe, you might want to come to Kolanta. For breakfast, we went right back to the BB Bungalows. Because, well, they have Nutella crepes. And who doesn't like Nutella? We all shared again and spent about three bucks a person. From there, we rode our scooters into town because we're going diving at Lanta Fun Divers. Time to see some fish. And don't worry if you're not scuba certified, they have a special one day trip where they'll train you and let you dive in safe, shallow water with multiple instructors. The one day adventure course will cost you 157 bucks. It won't get you your certification, but it's a great way to test out the waters and see if you like it. And the friendly local staff will take you to all the best spots. Today we're going diving under the massive cliffs of the PP Islands. It looks like something out of a movie. In fact, they've shot quite a few movies here. To put it lightly, it's insanely beautiful. One of my favorite places on the planet. And the price includes free lunch. It's delicious. It's a treat. That's the way the diver. Hey guys, my name's Stefan. I'm working on Koh Lanta and come and dive with us. Anytime. Mm -hmm. Alright, it's time to suit up and get in the water. It's time for me to head to the airport to catch a flight. But as I always say, remember that you can do this too.
Got some Dorian, full package. Everyone try one. A Dorian candy, I already had it in my mouth. <laughs> but I wanted to show it to you guys. It's a little chewy here. It's like a high chew mm. in America. Mm. And it tastes like feet, <laughs> trash, sweet onion. Sweet onion. And a little bit of a fart, like somebody did a small fart in your mouth. You like, burp it out, like you'll, fart, you'll understand. Yeah, <laughs> but, it's, but, it's, <laughs> but it's really good. It's really good. You gotta try it. It tastes really good, I think. Right? It's good, it's not bad. It's cute. Get in the onions. <laughs> it's also like fruit. Getting a little bit of the trash. Oh, and it has a fart finish. He was right. All three. <laughs> So that's the end of the episode, but I've got some uh, shameless self-promotion releasing an album. Uh, this is one of my songs. Play it during the credits. Hope you guys like it. Click the link below to check out the full album. Work it out when we get home